Hello and welcome to my November wrap up. This month most of what I read was actually for uni but nevertheless I enjoyed a lot of it so let's just get starting with what I read. The first thing I read was A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. This is a play about a woman who comes to visit her sister. There is this whole thing between her sister's husband and her and Blanche and Stanley well, Blanche is like the main character and then Stanley is the husband of Blanche's sister Stella and they crash and they just come from very different social statuses and I think it's very exciting and I actually enjoyed it quite a bit even though it's not what I would usually read. We also watched the movie like earlier on in this course and it was interesting and I don't really know how to explain it without spoiling what it's about but I would definitely recommend you go read it. The next thing I read was media and culture studies and this is kind of like a compendium or anthology kind of thing um, that we had to reach in the course called History, Society and Culture and it is just a compilation of many different texts and it's one of our teachers who kind of compiled it so I don't really know what to say about it. I didn't really like it that much because a lot of it just seemed unnecessary because either we didn't use it for anything at all or the next time we had a lecture, the lecturer would basically just say everything we read. So it felt kind of pointless reading it, but nevertheless I did finish it. Some of it I mostly just skim read because I was like, I can't use for anything. So that was kind of frustrating and I didn't really enjoy it that much, unfortunately. After that, however, we read The Walking Dead Volume 1, which is called Days Gone By by Robert Kirkman and Tony Moore. And I really, really enjoyed this. I really, I say really so much. I love this. I absolutely, I absolutely love this. Um, I think perhaps I'm going to continue on. I didn't really think I didn't think that I was going to enjoy this too much. I haven't read a lot of graphic novels, I know this is more like comic, but I haven't read a lot of it, but I was like, okay, we have to read this for uni, let me just buy it and read it, and I was hooked. I think I have to continue on, and yeah, I don't think I need to explain what The Walking Dead is about. I also think I have to watch the TV show now, but I have so many shows that I'm trying to catch up with or like I'm following, so I don't know when, but I really loved it. After that I read The Complete Mouse by Art Spiegelman. This was also for uni and I also love this so much. It's about Art who talks to his dad about being a prisoner in the Second World War in a concentration camp and it's kind of done in this way where it starts with interviews and then you kind of have flashbacks to the concentration camp so you kind of jump from Art talking to his father Vladek and then to the concentration camp and seeing it unfold. And the exciting thing about this, which also says a lot about it, is that every nation or race is like portrayed in some type of animals. The Jews are portrayed as mice, the Nazis in general are portrayed as cats, the Americans are portrayed as dogs, the Poles as pigs, and I think there's like one Swedish guy in this and he's a moose, which is kind of funny because it's just... Yeah, and also I have to write my exam essay about mouse and about the whole animal allegory so that is pretty exciting and I should just get started with it but I find it hard to like really start an essay. It's much easier when you over the whole process of beginning it and just in it so yeah but I have to write my exam essay on this. And then comes the first book that I read just for me and it is A Darker Shade of Sorcery by Will Collins and this book I got for free in exchange for an honest review on Goodreads and unfortunately it wasn't my cup of tea. I don't know if I wasn't in the right mindset to it. It's about a young boy and a young girl finding out that there is something special about them and they are taking to this other dimension where they're being trained to fight demons and the basic plot of it sounded amazing to me and 
was so excited to get started with it, but it just didn't capture me. I love the world building and finding more about Venezeron, which is this place they're taking to. But uh, I don't know what it was. I, maybe it was the characters that weren't really that fleshed out to me and I didn't really care a whole lot about them, which is kind of sad because I was really excited about this book. But it just wasn't for me but I think like a lot of other people would really love it but it was just not for me. Then I read The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson and this was also a uni read and I don't really know how I feel about it. I think it's definitely not something I've ever read before like that type of genre but I I think I enjoyed it. I don't really know. It's kind of a fast read because it's like less than a hundred pages I think in most editions and it was good but it was also a bit hard to understand. I think having to discuss it made it more difficult for me to appreciate it because our teacher brought in some aspects and point of views that I was like I have no idea what you're talking about. Why are you talking about this relating to the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Because I just couldn't connect the things and I think that made it more difficult for me to understand and appreciate it but overall I think it was good. I, I don't really know. I don't think I have to explain what it is about because it is a classic and you probably heard about it so yeah. And then I read Earth Psalms by Francine Rivers and you might be thinking if you saw my last wrap up but Rebecca you just read that. And that is correct. I read that last month because I was editing it and then I read it this month because in the process of setting it up for print they messed up and a whole lot of mistakes were made so they were like hey we made a mistake could you please read through it again and I was like yeah sure I can do that and like the guy I was in contact with, he had found 14 mistakes, I think, within the first 30 pages. And I was like, okay, I have to read it through again just to see if there's someone, some mistakes he missed. And there were a lot of mistakes he missed. So throughout these, I think, about 200 pages, there were 171 mistakes. So... Yeah, that's a lot of mistakes that weren't there when I edited it, but because they had to set it up for print, they made a lot of mistakes and I had to fix all of that again. So I read it again. Still loved it though and think it's a good read and I would definitely recommend you go read it. And It is basically one, like I don't know how to explain what it is. It's It's more like one piece of text for each week and it's about appreciating nature because it is God's creation and seeing God through nature and it's it's good. It's really good and I can't wait for it to come out in Danish because it's already out in English and then I edited it in Danish. So that was my wrap up. Hopefully I will get to read a lot in December. That is just for me. I am at this moment of filming. I am more than halfway through Crystal Whisperer by Camilla Monk, which is the third book in the Spotless series. Uh, I think there are going to be four, maybe more, at least four, I think four, and it's amazing. It's amazing, and I'm gonna do a review when I'm done and I get the physical copy because it came out, I think, 25th of November this year, so it hasn't been out for long, but I got it like a week before as an arc and I'm just ugh, I haven't had a lot of time to read so I try to read a bit when I have like 10 minutes and then I can read a chapter or half a chapter so I'm so excited hopefully I will be done once I upload this and yeah I think that's it for now I hope you have a great day week everything I hope your life is great and hopefully I'll see you next time bye bye